everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into a dramatic twist in the 2024 presidential race that has sent shockwaves through the political landscape. Kamala Harris's speech at the Democratic National Convention has apparently driven Donald Trump to adopt a surprisingly liberal stance on abortion, a move that has both bewildered and angered his supporters. What's behind this sudden shift, and how does it fit into Trump's complicated history with reproductive rights? Let's break it down! In a surprising turn of events, Kamala Harris's fiery speech at the Democratic National Convention seems to have rattled Donald Trump into taking a stance on abortion that starkly contrasts with his previous positions. According to the New York Times, Harris's remarks about Trump's potential policies on reproductive rights pushed the former president to publicly declare a robustly pro-choice stance on social media. Trump's declaration, my administration will be great for women and their reproductive rights, was a jarring shift from his earlier, more conservative views. This newfound pro-choice rhetoric has been described as sounding like it came from the head of Planned Parenthood itself. This shift highlights Trump's ongoing struggle with his stance on abortion, a topic he has notoriously flip-flopped on over the years. Back in 1999, Trump described himself as very pro-choice, but by 2011, he was presenting himself as pro-life at a conservative conference. His position seemed to solidify further in 2016, when he suggested that women who sought abortions should face legal penalties, a stance that drew significant criticism and confusion. The issue has become even more complex as Trump attempts to navigate his party's policies while appealing to a broader electorate. His recent comments reflect a significant departure from his previous positions, which included support for stringent abortion restrictions. This reversal seems to be part of a broader pattern of Trump's vacillation on contentious issues, influenced by both political strategy and shifting public sentiment. In recent months, Trump has expressed dissatisfaction with both extreme positions on abortion. While he once endorsed a national 16-week abortion ban with exceptions, he now argues that the matter should be decided at the state level. This latest position appears to be an attempt to balance his appeal between conservative base voters and more moderate or progressive ones. Trump's shifting stances have been seen by some as improvisational, lacking a coherent strategy, and reflecting an ad hoc approach to politics. Eric Erickson, founder of Red State, criticized Trump's approach as improvisational politics, suggesting a lack of consistent planning and strategy. Trump's stance on other reproductive issues, like in vitro fertilization, IVF, has further complicated his position. Recently, he proposed making IVF free for Americans, a policy that would place him to the left of many Democrats. This move seems designed to appeal to a broader electorate, but has also triggered backlash from his conservative base. Trump's attempts to distance himself from the abortion debate have included efforts to tone down abortion language at the Republican National Convention and criticize state-level restrictions, such as Florida's six-week ban. The backlash from conservatives, including criticism from National Review and other right-leaning commentators, underscores the difficulty Trump faces in managing his political image. The challenge now is to balance appealing to new, more liberal voters while maintaining support from his core conservative base. As the election campaign heats up, Trump's evolving stance on abortion and other issues will be a critical factor in his bid to reclaim the White House. So... What do you think of Trump's latest shift on abortion? Is this a strategic move to navigate the complexities of a divided electorate, or is it another example of his unpredictable political style? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this breakdown, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more insights and updates on the latest political developments. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll catch you in the next video.